After finishing her daily ritual of checking the mailbox, Emily's attention was immediately captured by an unexpected sight. Before her eyes was a simple white envelope, displaying her name and address in bold, block letters. The handwriting was unfamiliar, and no return address could be found. Intrigue got the best of her, compelling Emily to tear open the envelope and reveal a lone sheet of paper, mostly blank except for a brief message meticulously inscribed in elegant calligraphy, join me under the ancient oak in the park when midnight cloaks the land. Although Emily's initial inclination was to dismiss the enigmatic letter and proceed with her day, an inexplicable notion persisted within her, suggesting its significance. She attempted to convince herself that it was merely a prank or an inadvertent error, yet the notion of an enigmatic correspondent awaiting her arrival lingered in her thoughts. As the day wore on, Emily found herself stealing frequent glances at the clock, observing the hours gradually pass until it drew close to midnight. Clad in her coat and hat, she carefully tucked the letter into her pocket and embarked on her journey to the park. Even amidst the darkness, the ancient oak tree stood out unmistakably. Emily approached it cautiously, her heart pounding with anticipation, scanning the surroundings for any trace of the enigmatic messenger. However, the park appeared vacant, except for the occasional rustle of leaves caressed by the nocturnal breeze. Just as Emily contemplated departing, a faint whisper reached her ears from behind the tree. Intrigued, she cautiously advanced, her heart pounding in her chest, and caught sight of a figure emerging from the shadows. The figure was an elderly gentleman, adorned with a lengthy white beard and eyes that gleamed with wisdom. He extended his hand, beckoning Emily to draw nearer. You've received my correspondence, he uttered softly. I've yearned for someone to discover it. Emily hesitated, unsure of how to respond. However, the old man exuded kindness and sincerity, ultimately prompting her to grasp his outstretched hand and permit him to guide her to a nearby bench. Identifying himself as William, the elderly man commenced elucidating the purpose behind the letter. Having devoted his life to the study of ancient history as a retired professor, he had incessantly pursued the secrets of bygone eras. Yet, there existed one elusive enigma, the concealed burial chamber of a revered pharaoh, lost somewhere within the arid desert. Years had been devoted to piecing together fragments of clues and remnants, yet the exact location of the tomb eluded William. In his advanced age, he acknowledged that he could no longer undertake the journey himself. However, William presented Emily with a proposition. He would impart his extensive research and knowledge, entrusting her with leading an expedition to unearth the long-lost tomb in his stead. Although an intimidating undertaking, William firmly believed that Emily possessed the unique qualities necessary to accomplish this monumental task. Initially skeptical, Emily gradually succumbed to William's ardor and sagacity, sensing a stirring of excitement and a burgeoning spirit of adventure within her. Embracing his proposition, they spent the remainder of the night engrossed in discussions concerning their plans and the necessary preparations. In the subsequent weeks and months, Emily devoted herself wholeheartedly to the pursuit of the lost tomb. She embarked on a globetrotting expedition, meticulously following William's clues and immersing herself in his meticulous research. The journey was perilous and arduous, yet with each passing day, Emily grew resolute and self-assured. Ultimately, after countless months of relentless pursuit, Emily and her team triumphantly discovered the pharaoh's long-lost burial chamber. It was a moment of unparalleled victory and awe, 
confirming Emily's fulfillment of months, Emily faced numerous challenges and setbacks. She encountered treacherous terrains, deciphered cryptic puzzles, and navigated through ancient ruins. But her determination never wavered. With each obstacle overcome, she felt closer to unraveling the mystery of the hidden tomb. As Emily ventured deeper into uncharted territories, she discovered fragments of forgotten civilizations and ancient artifacts that whispered tales of long-lost empires. Along the way, she encountered fellow explorers who shared her passion for uncovering history's secrets. Together, they formed a steadfast team, supporting each other through the trials and triumphs of their expedition. Months turned into years, and Emily's tireless pursuit brought her closer to her ultimate goal. She faced riddles that tested her intellect, braved perilous encounters with dangerous wildlife, and ventured into the heart of dense jungles and desolate deserts. Yet, through it all, her determination burned brightly, fueled by the legacy entrusted to her by William. Finally, after a grueling journey, Emily stood before the entrance of the hidden tomb. The air was thick with anticipation as she pushed open the heavy doors, revealing a chamber bathed in golden light. The walls adorned with ancient hieroglyphics told stories of a powerful ruler and the treasures buried alongside them. With bated breath, Emily explored the inner sanctum, her heart racing with excitement. She uncovered priceless artifacts, exquisite artworks, and long-forgotten relics. But amidst the glittering treasures, she found something more profound, a deep understanding of the past and the connections it held to the present. Emily had just finished checking her mailbox when she saw it. A plain white envelope, with her name and address written in block letters on the front. She didn't recognize the handwriting, and there was no return address. Curiosity got the better of her, and she tore open the envelope to reveal a single sheet of paper, also blank except for a short message written in elegant calligraphy, Meet me at the old oak tree in the park at midnight. Emily's first instinct was to ignore the letter and go about her day, but she couldn't shake the feeling that there was something important about it. She tried to convince herself that it was just a prank or a mistake, but the thought of the mysterious writer waiting for her at the park lingered in her mind. As the day went on, Emily found herself checking the clock more and more frequently, watching the hours tick by until it was finally close to midnight. She put on her coat and hat, tucking the letter into her pocket, and made her way to the park. The old oak tree was easy to spot, even in the darkness. Emily walked up to it, heart pounding in her chest, and looked around for any sign of the letter's writer. But the park was empty, except for the occasional rustle of leaves in the wind. Just as Emily was about to turn and leave, she heard a faint whisper from behind the tree. She crept closer, heart pounding, and saw a figure emerge from the shadows. It was an old man, with a long white beard and deep, wise eyes. He held out a hand, beckoning Emily forward. You received my letter, he said. I've been waiting for someone to find it. Emily hesitated, unsure of what to do or say. But the old man seemed kind and sincere, so she took his hand and let him lead her to a nearby bench. The old man introduced himself as William, and began to explain the reason for the letter. He was a retired professor of ancient history, and he had spent his life studying the secrets of the past. But there was one mystery that had eluded him until now, a lost tomb of a great pharaoh, hidden somewhere in the desert. William had spent years piecing together clues and artifacts, but he had never been able to find the tomb's exact location. And now, in his old age, 
he knew that he would never be able to make the journey himself. But he had a proposal for Emily. He would give her all of his research and knowledge, and she would lead an expedition to find the tomb in his place. It was a daunting task, but William believed that Emily was the only one who could do it. Emily was skeptical at first, but as she listened to William's passion and wisdom, she began to feel a sense of excitement and adventure. She accepted his proposal, and they spent the rest of the night discussing their plans and preparations. In the weeks and months that followed, Emily dedicated herself to the search for the lost tomb. She traveled across the world, following William's clues and studying his research. It was a difficult and dangerous journey, but with each passing day, Emily grew more determined and confident. Finally, after many long months, Emily and her team found the lost tomb of the pharaoh. It was a moment of triumph and wonder, and Emily knew that she had fulfilled William's legacy. As she sat beside the tomb, looking out over the endless desert, Emily thought back to the mysterious letter that had started it all. She smiled, knowing that it had been the beginning of a great adventure. Thanks for watching. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more content like this and we'll see you in the next video.